G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen here with the good folks of Stolting and today we're spending a couple of minutes on frozen custard because a lot of people love the product but they don't really know how it's made or what goes into it. So let's talk a couple of minutes about fresh frozen custard. The technical term for a frozen custard machine is a modified continuous freezer and the Stolting company manufactures these machines from a freestanding three or four barrel machine all the way down to a countertop frozen custard machine like the one we are using today. In order to make fresh frozen custard you're also going to need a dipping cabinet. Now this is a freezer cabinet that has lids which either tilt up or remove altogether for running fresh frozen custard. These units come in a two, three or four compartment configuration. The four compartment also has an optional flavour rail as well. Once the main power switch is activated, the freezer goes into standby mode as indicated on the LED screen. This means that the barrel and the hopper both are in its refrigeration mode. Once the unit has been properly sanitized, then you pour your frozen custard mix into the refrigerated hopper on top of the machine. The machine has two settings, one to run frozen custard, the other to run Italian ice. Today we're going to be running frozen custard. After you've purged the sanitizer out of the barrel, you simply press the push to freeze button and you'll get a series of indicator lights going from left to right to indicate that the custard machine is ready to freeze. Once the indicator says that the barrel is ready, you simply open the flow control to allow the mix to drop from the hopper down into the barrel. The control is gradually opened a little more until you start seeing some of the product accumulating at the front plate of the machine. Once the frozen custard starts pushing through the front plate, it's time to attach a pre-chilled slide to allow the frozen custard to travel from the machine into the frozen dipping cabinet. It could take anywhere from about two to four minutes for a full robust ribbon to start pushing through that front plate. And you'll find as the terminology is describing that this will be a continuous process. So as long as you keep putting mix into the top of the hopper, the product will keep coming out of the front of the machine. You may find the need from time to time to tweak that flow control, particularly when the mix is dropping low in the hopper. The adjustment on the flow control controls how soft or how firm the product is. Generally speaking, if you can drill a spoon through that ribbon without it falling apart, then that's a good consistency. So there you have it folks, about 10 to 12% butterfat, low overrun or low air content, and a little egg yolk to help emulsify or to keep the product smooth, and you have yourself some incredible fresh frozen custard. And the ability to make a fresh low overrun product which can be run all day if necessary or from time to time makes this a truly unique piece of frozen dessert equipment. So there you go ice cream lovers. This is more than likely some of the densest, richest, creamiest ice cream you'll ever want to eat. Frozen custard, it's absolutely great. Now if you'd like more information on how to make frozen custard or the equipment that makes this frozen custard product, you can go to stolting.com Links at the bottom of the page here. If you like information about how to run frozen custard in your store, then you can go to frozendessertinstitute.com and we'll give you all that information there.